Welcome to the Right Hand Drive Guys podcast, the show for guys who like right hand drives. As always, I'm Bobby. This is Aaron. Yo, yo. And make sure to follow us on all the socials at RHD, G U I S. DM us with any of your questions, and we'll definitely try to help you out. Check out the merch on RHDGUIS.com. And we hope you enjoy episode 59, this month's Marketplace Suite. Let's go. All right, cool. So if you're new here, what we do is we search a specific region in the United States or multiple regions, and we pick up what we think would be a decent buy or an interesting buy, or if sometimes if somebody's way out of line, we'll kind of call them out. Um, and so this week I had like the West kind of Arizona, Nevada, yeah. uh, you know, I, honestly, like I was like, I want to check out Montana. I was like, I feel like Montana would be a decent hidden gem. Right. I swear to you, man, not a single right hand drive car <laughs> in Montana, northern Idaho, you know, that whole area. Nothing. I was like, dang, really? Like, we're not even going to get nothing. I think there was Does like. Does anyone a Jeep. even live there? Yeah. I, I don't <laughs> know, but they're definitely not driving right hand drive cars or they're all holding on to them. I'm sure Montana has plenty of right hand drive cars <laughs> registered there. I can't imagine how many. Plenty. plenty. And if you don't know why we're saying that, a lot of people will set up a LLC in Montana, register their cars there, evade taxes, you know, the whole deal. Yeah. But um anyway, so yeah, I had the West. Where were you looking? I was looking up here in the northeast, uh looking we right in Mass Massachusetts somewhere. Yeah. Why had don't a lot you hit us with oh. Oh, go ahead. I was going to say a lot came up for New York. Lots of right hand drives in New York. I feel like that's a hub. I mean, not even just because the port's there, but I just feel like there's a lot of hustlers. Hustlers. Yeah. So, yeah, hit us with your first one. All right, cool. Let's uh, let's do it. The first one, uh, I've definitely talked about many of these on these before. Uh, It's a 1997 Mitsubishi. Pajero Evolution. Oh, he's got the Evolution. The Evolution. They they're popping up all over the place. You know, I've, I've talked about these a few times on these marketplace sweeps. Oh, for sure. Uh, this one is in uh, Teaneck, New Jersey. Uh, thirty five thousand bucks. It's a ninety seven, and dude, she's clean. It looked it's silver. It had all the maintenance done. Seems like a decent buy if you're in the market for a Pajero Evolution. Hell yeah. And uh, what did you say? I'm sorry. Did you say how long it had been on there? Uh, it's been on there for four months, it says. Four months. Yeah. So a Pachero Evolution. Repeat the price. Uh, 35000 35000 Yeah. So that seems to be kind of going rate that we've heard so far. I mean, there was a few that we had said a few months ago that were like 50. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. This so. one's down from 42. And I mean, maybe there's different model or different like levels, levels trims. Right. Yeah, I'm but not sure. I'm not sure on that either. I'm not either. I'm. I mean, I'm a fan of them, but I'm not super into them. Yeah, you I know, they're see that. they're one of those. I don't know, just super cool, unique cars that come out of Japan. Yeah, and I mean, I have seen a few videos where I was like, oh wow, these things do get down. Like they do actually, you know, go through the mud and obstacles and whatnot. Yeah. So. Um, not for nothing. No. So, so I got a 96 Supra. I got the soup. The soup. And, um, so this guy is in Salem, Utah. And yeah. it doesn't really say the color. What color would you say that is? I mean, it, it's hard to tell. It is. It's, with the lighting on it. Yeah, because it's, it's got a beautiful Utah background on it. But, um... So yeah, it's like a bluish gray. It's it's got the stock front bumper and some side skirts and rear bumper. Um, he listed this two months ago. He's asking thirty nine thousand, and it's a manual hardtop NA. Oof. Yeah, he hadn't listed like he pretty much wanted you to inquire to get any info about the car. Yeah. Um, but at thirty nine thousand dollars and everything runs and drives for these in this market. I, I don't know. I feel like this is an all right price. Yeah. So I, as hard as it is to say that $40,000 for an NA hard top. Uh, I don't but know. But like, 
I mean, if you look at if you're looking at things in that price range, 34 GTT is right there. True. And you get a turbo. Oh yeah, and no, they make I know. cool noises. I know. So I mean, <laughs> in that 40k price range, you could get an R34 GTT or or an other NA cars. Supra. I don't know. Yeah, right. Or an NA Supra. I mean, yeah, I'm not. I'm not on it either. I I don't <laughs> get it. You know, I mean, I don't I don't necessarily understand the production numbers and and stuff right. like that. And maybe that's part of my problem. But forty thousand dollars for a ninety six, almost a thirty year old car. Yeah, pretty insane. Yeah. So we'll we'll skip right over that. I don't I don't recommend I don't recommend <laughs> buying that if you can't tell. <laughs> right, right. Much better buys out there. Yeah. Um. All right, next up for me, another Toyota. Uh, it's a Toyota Chaser, 1999. <clears throat> he was originally asking $30,000, and if you looked at this car, you would be thinking, wow, what's this guy smoking? But he lowered the price to 23000 Oh, wow, 7K drop. 7K, <laughs> yeah, quite the drop. Uh, but it is a TRD edition, uh, higher mileage, but only 20K on the engine. Runs and drives great. Uh, body looks a little beat. Needs, you know, a paint job and some panels aligned, it looks like. But overall, a decent base. For 23000 bucks. you get a Turbo JZX100. Turbo JZX. Turbo JZX. Not bad. <coughs> where, where was, uh, okay, so where was that in Mass? That was in Wilmington, Mass. Wilmington. And how, how long ago did he list that pup? About a month ago. So About I'm sure he still has ago. it. And... <laughs> I don't know. Wait a couple more weeks. It might be under 20. <laughs> yeah. Or, or just shoot him the offer. Who knows? That's one thing. Like, yeah, don't lowball people. Like, that's disrespectful. But, like, if you got a decent offer, just shoot it. Yeah. Because you never know <clears throat> if that guy's just ready to come up off that car or if he's desperate or whatever yeah, uh, other circumstance. Yeah. You know, his mom could be in the hospital. He wants to you make it right. You know, whatever. So, um, but shoot the shot, right? Yeah, I mean, why not? Uh, so, all right, I got a... I, I actually like this one. I got a 93 uh, Honda Beat. Nice. And it's PP1, the yellow. And, um, I mean, it's a, it's a pretty nice car. I mean, he says it's all, you know, maintained, and he's got RSR springs on it and TE37s. Yeah. And, I mean, it's looks clean like one of the cleaner ones i've seen the hard top the plastic rear windows all in there so uh interior looks mint i i think this is a a good buy at i mean yeah seven thousand dollars i mean you you're hard pressed to find like any quality cars really under 8k right it's really hard to find unless you're going to take something that's like maybe the off model or the like redheaded stepchild, you know, right, that right. nobody really cares about. But I mean, I think beats are cool. Yeah, me too. And this is out in Vegas. He listed it 29 days ago. So hopefully he's the type of guy that, that stays up on it. But I mean, I feel like with those wheels and some of these other little mods he has and yeah. how clean it is, this is a $7,000 car all day. Yeah, for sure. I mean, Lately, I've been seeing a lot of the K cars. They seem like the cool ones, like the Beat. They were around like five, six K for the longest time. Yeah. And now you're seeing it for seven, eight. They're nine. like going. They're like kind of creeping up a little bit. And it's like, yeah. wait a minute, what's going on here? But I mean, this one is justified. I yeah, mean, I mean, it's got TE thirty sevens, right? So and and it, it really is clean. Yeah, it really is. So yeah, it's a nice looking car. Uh, yeah, out in Vegas, you got the PP one Beat. Hit it. Nice, dude. Cool. Well, up next for me, got a 94 Suzuki Sandbar. But wait, she's got a dumper on it. Oh, the Sandbar dump. Dude, the Sandbar dump bed. Dang. Bethany, Connecticut. They're asking 7500 bucks. 7500 That Another seven, you know, $7,000 yeah, yeah, yeah. K car. Same thing, you know. But that has a dump. And it's kind of justified. With 12-inch rims and, like... <laughs> like <laughs> yeah, I don't know what you're dumping, <laughs> but... <laughs> yeah, it better be on a hard surface, but... So that's out there in Bethany, huh? Bethany, Connecticut, yeah. And uh, how long ago do you list this? 
about a day ago. This one's Dang, fresh. This is fresh. It, yeah, these. I mean, I've seen a few of these go up for sale. You know, around this rate, right? Yeah. But it doesn't seem like they stay for sale long. Like people no, buy them. Move. I don't know. I don't those know if there are people are using them for like landscaping businesses or like work on Makes farms sense, and yeah. stuff. Like that's a cheap and they're reliable and yeah. they're simple parts. Yeah, yeah right. I mean, I, I think those are good buys if you have the use for them. Don't buy them for no reason. That sucks. But <laughs> you know, if you I mean, what do you use, mean, dude? Just yeah. drive around dumping? Yeah, <laughs> not in Maine. Yeah, they're probably no, not yeah. going to let you register it. Um, You're right. So, all right, I got one. I I don't know. It's somewhere in the Utah, Nevada area. It this is one of those listings. It's weird. It doesn't tell the location. Oh wow! You know, it like just doesn't say it. Um, but he's got a '95 Sylvia Zenke um, S14, and you know it's got the SR20 DET and everything. I mean, it's definitely. Uh, it's got R32 wheels on it. It it's definitely it's weird. Yeah, it's kind of beat, like the outside's kind of beat. I mean, under the hood, you know, looks like a 25-year-old car, you know, right, really 29-year-old right. car, you know. But at 15.5, Oof. you're you're okay. Like, you're you're all right. He, he's he got some Cusco, some HKS, Blitz parts on it, whatever. But I don't know, man. So is that turbo? You said yeah. Too? Yeah. Decent. Yeah. Yeah, it's the uh I think you said notch top. Yeah, yeah, that? yeah, yeah. That's the S14 SR. Yeah, so I don't know. I mean, if you're looking for something to sling, if you're looking for something to have a project, if you're into the Zankies, I mean, that's th- not a bad buy. This isn't a bad buy. Unless I mean, unless there's some rust somewhere on that he's not showing. Yeah, but it, it's black, and I mean, again, I searched you know, somewhere right around Vegas to find this since it right. doesn't say the location. I can't really tell you, but it's somewhere out in the desert. Yeah. The <laughs> title is 95 Nissan Sylvia S14 RHD JDM from Japan. So <laughs> from Japan. if you're looking for one, go grab this one. I, I mean, I, I test drive it, check it out here at run first, but yeah. Yeah. What you got word. So I got a 97 Toyota JZX 100 chaser tour V. That was a mouthful. Wow. Um, Tour V. So, okay, yeah, keep going. Sorry. <laughs> Randolph, New Jersey, uh, listed about nine days ago. They're asking 30000 bucks. Dang, 30000 Dude, I mean, thousand. this thing's a ripper, though. That is sick. I mean, it does right. look it does look nice. Like it looks clean. Yeah, yeah. It looks is like that Eot's sh- house? <laughs> 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 uh, it's got a 1JZ in it, turbo, five speed. Uh, been his daily for a few months. Imported it himself. Smart guy. Yeah, that's legit. He probably saved himself some bucks. Now he's making it. Uh, Origin Lab body kit. Typical for those. I mean, this is like the typical... Chase t- NX. Typical yeah. chaser. You oh, know? chaser, yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, 30000 He just listed it nine days ago, and it's in New Jersey. Yeah. Not bad at all. It has a Saito roll cage. It's like, oh, nice. It's like uh, candy red, isn't it? What is that, maroon? I don't even know. It looks like a candy red. Yeah, candy red. So, I mean, hey, that, that thing will probably sling. So you, you need something, you got 30 grand, and you want something that's already done. Maybe that's... <laughs> yeah, this like, thing is totally done. But you could still drive it home. Yeah. And it's like legit. 84,000 miles. So that's still decent, you know? <clears throat> so um, I got one from Arizona. And I I specific I specifically picked this one because we have a DBA uh, Integra Type R sitting behind us, and you know this is interesting because this guy he's got fifty five thousand miles on it. It's got an alarm, dash cam, backup camera, full suspension, regas, you know, and it's got mm-hmm. the ABS. Of course, it's titled. He want in this championship white. Yeah. DBA, so that means four door. If you don't know what that means, Honda Integra Type R, thirty G's, the same as that chaser that you just threw Oof. up, thirty G's. I mean, it's Oof. like it, it's clean. Yeah, it's it clean. It looks clean. You know, like the Must be front lips not destroyed. Right? Like, it, you know, he doesn't say. So you would think he would, because his description's pretty short, but. 
for 30 G's. Mm. For, there's a lot, like, you could get a lower end GTT for that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. like one that maybe is a little B, but, right. or whatever. You know, that's just a skyline. You could get a lot of other cars yeah. for $30,000. So, I don't know. This is a hard one for me because, you know, I have a DB8 right back there that, like, I would personally probably ask 22 to 23 for, just depending. Right. You know, but 30 G's, man, I'd be living the high life over here. Yeah. I'd have That's the little, little steep. fruity drink with the umbrella in it, <laughs> dude. I just had a come up. So, yeah, I don't even recommend this. There's somebody over there in Arizona wishing on a dream. Yeah, for sure. Cool. So next up for me, I got a 98 Skyline GTS 40th anniversary. This is, a, this is an R33. So it's R33 kooky model. It's got the... Different tail lights, different front bumper. This one particularly is the 40th anniversary. It's a GTS Type XG. Whoa. Type Whoa. XG. And dang. Let's see. It's asking fourteen thousand two hundred and ten dollars for it. Kind of an odd number, but let's say that. That uh, maybe was a reduce that you know how they'll suggest <laughs> a number and it's well, let me sure. see this thing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, that's high. You know, I mean, like if you right. had it's something to do to it, I guess. I right. It's a $14,000 Skyline. Hey, it's you know a, what they say. Yeah. A Skyline's a Skyline. Hey, that that yeah. is true. It is Hell in Morristown, yeah. New Jersey. Uh, his description is in all caps. It must be a boomer. <laughs> 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 wow, wow, boomer. Only 60,000 miles on it, so that's pretty cool. That's killer. It's got some knockoff wheels, but, I mean, it seems like it's all there, and, you know, would be a great base. Yeah, for if you're like you get maybe a on. younger guy looking to get into this right hand drive thing, you can't commit to some of these thirty, forty, whatever thousand dollar cars. Yeah. Hey, there's one for fourteen or twelve. Did you see what was it? Fourteen thousand. Fourteen thousand. Yeah, that's yeah, that's bad. a first right hand drive car for you. Put a little love into it. Maybe go, make a go pick it up. Two. Yeah, Morristown, New Jersey. Um, so I'm back over in Vegas. Uh, I got something a little unique that. We had definitely haven't had here on here, but um, a '97 <laughs> Toyota Starlet Glanza. That is so v. funny, dude. Because the next one on my list was no. The same stop! Thing. Get out of here! Don't steal my thunder. So <laughs> this hear is about this, one. this is in Vegas. Uh, he's got full suspension, uh, big brakes, coilovers, sway bars. You nice, know all, all of that stuff. Uh, it looks like it's lowered on like RPF ones or something. Yeah. Um, and you know, these things, these things are cool. They're like two door hatches with a, a little tiny hood scoop. Uh, I'm pretty sure turbo motor. Like, yeah, yeah I'm I, mean, not, I don't think tell. so. I think they're in a, uh, well still, but I mean, it's a, it's a cool looking car. Yeah, for sure. I mean, me personally, I think that is like Toyota's answer to the EK. Right. Right. Sure. Yeah. Like I could if see that. You can, you, if you see the side profile and like with a duck bill on the back, like, it looks it like it looks that, like yeah. an EK like all day. It looks like a knockoff EK. So maybe learn a little bit more about the Toyota Starlet Glanza Vs yeah. before you, you know, pursue this car. But I mean at fourteen nine nine five, I feel like I don't I don't know. I don't know the market for these cars. I'm not gonna say that that's a bad price. Right. I'm just looking at the car and I'm like, dang, that's like decent money. You just had a skyline for fourteen. Yeah. I don't know. So, this is 14. but that's in Vegas. But so, what? What's your glance? Dude, of? all right. So, mine's in Valley Stream, New York. Okay. Uh, same thing. It's a '97 uh, Glanza V. It's got RPF ones, and yeah, they actually do have a 1.3 turbo motor. Yeah, that's what I thought with the hood scoop. Um, this one's decent. I mean, it's clean. Uh, it's got a cage in it. It's got a duckbill spoiler. Dang. I mean, that th I mean, that's legit. Dude, I mean, they look pretty cool. It looks like an EG. Right. It looks like a weird side. mashup. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, I mean, I don't know. So 1.3 turbo. I feel like, I don't know. We saw something like this when we were in Japan. Yeah, we you, probably did. You know, do you remember what I'm talking about, though? He, We were coming up to a stoplight, and he was at the intersecting, like, on the left, and he took, like, a left in front of us, uh. and it was like that, like... 
raspy little motor turbo yeah, yeah, sound. Yeah. It was like, you know, <laughs> yeah. sounded stressed. Yeah, it did. So, I mean, I'm sure that in Japan, some of these things got made into pretty sweet cars. Oh, for sure. I mean, this one's pretty sweet. I mean, it's got a cage. And like, I know all through Europe and stuff, they got a pretty decent following as well. I've seen a few people talk about them, build them, whatnot. Yeah. So they are definitely a popular chassis. I've just, me personally, mm. never been into them, but... No. I think they're cool. This one's twelve thousand bucks. So how long ago did they list that? Two months ago. Two months ago, yeah. Mine was three months ago. So who knows if these things are even there? Yeah. Really. Anyone else know any Glanza info? Yeah, hook us Let up. Let us know the star like Hit Glanza. The DMs. V. We're down for it. Um so I I threw in one that is maybe I know we've had one on on the past and it's kind of like on the lower pricing and like demand side um i got a 98 gloria gran turismo and it was listed a month ago in vegas and um you know it has eighty three thousand kilometers and you know the clean title and all all these different things but it's pretty much stock yeah so i see this as like a first time car for somebody looking to get into the vip side of things yeah for sure you know looking to kind of um, go that more luxury extravagant route with their uh, modifications you know yeah um, a stock Gloria would be a pretty decent spot to like start yeah I feel like they got like a front end that kind of resembles something like a Bentley yeah or something oh yeah like especially that, when they get the, the grills in them and stuff yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so yeah. I mean it definitely is a great VIP base I've seen a few drift car builds out of them because they are Front engine rear wheel drive. Right. Course, I mean, they're with the long big wheelbase. body. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but, I mean, the the VG30, I mean, whatever. Yeah. I'm not it's a fan nothing of it. To, you know. So, I mean, but again, this is somebody's start into yeah. the, this whole right hand drive thing that we got going on. So, um, yeah, out in Vegas, 98 Gloria, 12 Gs. Run it. Cool. I, uh, I got. Out of Jamaica, New York. Uh, well, this is a little time ago, five months ago. It's a 1990 Nissan Sephiro. He's asking 28000 for holy, it. Holy at, moly. At that price, he probably still has it. That's why he still has it. Yeah. Uh, I mean, these cars, they're like, I don't know. I guess you could say like the Skyline's little brother. Yeah. But they had an RB20 in them. They, you know, they had pretty much the same thing, just a smaller body. Yeah. Pretty much. So, and they were way cheaper. So they all got thrashed pretty much. Yeah. They were a just lot of them got shipped them. to, you know, Australia, whatever. They just got destroyed. But this one, I mean, it's super clean. Uh, it's got an RB25 Neo in it. It's got a cage, bride seats, inky wheels, Brembo calipers, perfect drift car, or whatever your heart desires to do with it, he says. Whatever your heart desires, brother. <laughs> $28,000 negotiable. Yeah, mm. a little, little on the steep end. I mean, gonna have to do some real negotiating for that. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> 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 so so that one's a no go. Yeah, I mean, if it was sub twenty, I would I would say it's an okay buy, but twenty eight k. Negotiate all day on that. But you're not probably gonna get anywhere. Um, so I got a Hon another Honda, a '96 Honda Civic hatch. An EK3. So, you know, of course, these come with a D-Series and, and all of that. Um, it's super clean. It's all stock. It's got 66,000 <clears throat> miles. Uh, it's, I mean, it's men. Like, I don't even know. Like, you hardly see him like this anymore. And he's got this listed at 12,800. Not mean, bad. I don't think that's bad for a 66,000 mile, like, Nevada car in the sense of, like, you know, no salt, none of that stuff. You know, right, right. all the panels are mint. It's silver. Yeah, it looks like a decent, decent start for a build. Yeah, he, it's titled and registered. He doesn't say if it's automatic or standard, but I think it, it was the five speed yeah. with the D series. So, yeah, out out in Levine, or no, it was, it was an Arizona car. Out in Levine, Arizona, they they got a a silver EK3. If you're looking to do that CTR clone, or yeah. just have a a dope Civic hatch that you really don't see anymore, right? Yeah. There it is. 
Cool. Uh, I got a 1990 Toyota Serra for seven thousand bucks. Seven thousand bucks, another good starter. Oh yeah, listed forty five minutes ago. Holy moly, uh-huh. dude! That's as fresh as that's it a, gets. This is a freshie, all right, dude. Uh, wow. Williamstown. He New just Jersey. got off the toilet, dude. Like, dude, what do you mean, dude? He just popped what? the doors on that thing. If Dang. you if you don't know what a Toyota Serra is, I had no clue. And you're not on YouTube, and you can't see this. Like these cars are sick. They have a glass rooftop and they have like these going doors. But it's just like, I think in the states we had something like a Paseo or something that was kind of similar to this, but did not have. Oh yeah, the Paseo was like that, but has a similar doors. front end to it. But yeah, yeah, I mean this thing's freaking wild and seven thousand bucks for something this unique and cool. Yeah, seems like a pretty decent deal. I usually see them go for a little bit more than this. Yeah, when I, I do mean, see them, they're pretty rare. I've never seen one like that. I mean, there's like, they're numbered in the thousands. I think not yeah. even like, not That's more than ten thousand. I don't, don't believe. Imagine so they are that rare. Thing pulling up, dude, and popping door. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, that would that would be a dope car to see, like all maxed out. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so how many days ago? Uh, that one was forty five minutes ago. Oh yeah, that's right. Dang, <coughs> I'm sleeping. Um, <laughs> so I I got yet again another Honda, but of a different flavor. Oof. I got a ninety one Honda NSX, and this thing is clean, clean. It's a five speed. It's got fifty thousand kilometers, which is thirty one thousand miles. Uh, you know, of course, it's got the full ceramic coating, all that good stuff. I mean, it's mint. And it was listed 18 days ago in Phoenix. But they're not giving this puppy away. They are not giving <clears throat> this thing away. These things' prices, nobody talks about this, dude. Yeah. Nobody talks about this. They're uh, Everybody's always chirping the GTR <laughs> owners so hard, dude. Well, listen, dude, they want 125000 thousand dollars for a 91 <sighs> not a 99 gtr a 91 nsx <laughs> dude do those I, even have power steering i don't know but like <laughs> that's what's crazy to me is that some of these cars are commanding i'm not saying he's gonna sell it for 125 right i really Probably don't not. know but like that's like the price of a new one yeah like I, I don't know. that That's hard for me. I think that this is an $80,000 car. I don't think that this is a $125,000 car. Right. I'd be, I mean, it is for someone, though. Yeah, oh, for, for someone, sure. Someone yeah. out there does want that. I that hope price. you're listening, man. I didn't mean to step on your shoes or nothing. Like, go get your car, dude. Like, it's all good. <laughs> like, my bad. Um, but, yeah, I mean, he they're out there in Phoenix 18 days ago, 125 grand. Bam. Hit the bank. What's up? Cool. So I have a 96, also Honda. The Honda episode. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> uh, Honda Civic hatchback. Dude, this is like the perfect the perfect start to your Conjo racer. Uh, it's got a yellow wrap. Looks like a Phoenix yellow wrap. Uh, probably D-Series, he doesn't say. Uh, Five-speed, mint interior. Like, pretty decent. Yeah, twelve thousand that bucks. That is like your start to your Conjo racer for sure. Yeah, for sure. You get you a spoon wrap. Yeah, that, half of it's already done with this yellow. Yeah, it's. I mean, it is. It's <laughs> pretty legit. Um, in that sense, you know. I mean, but uh, how long ago did you say? Uh oh, this one was a little bit of time ago. Five months ago. But Dang, five months. There's yeah. a lingering dude. He, yeah, he must have bumped it up recently. Um. So I got a 96 Toyota Mark II JZX100. JZ, the Mark II the Mark II. The Mark II, yeah. I like the Mark II. Yeah. Um, it's got 88,000 miles. It, it it does got the GE motor, so, you know, it's NA. Um, uh. But it does got some cool wheels on it, you know, dropped right down with a kit and uh, all of that good stuff. I mean, it's got some probably replica Ganadors, but, I mean, at... 15 grand it doesn't look super beat right but it was two months ago in chandler arizona so i don't know if some of these are still there or not but i feel like if you got an idea where you want to boost this or you're trying to do another one of those vip things yeah this could be a good car for you if you got 15 grand but i'd for sure check it out first 
100. Cool. Uh, last one for me. I got a 98 Honda Life RHD. That's what it says in the title. RHD, baby. Yeah, and this is going to be the cheapest one of the episode, I believe, coming in at 6500 bucks. 6500 Yeah, listed two days ago from Brookhaven, New York. And, yeah, I mean, it just looks like your basic Honda four-door hatchback. Oh, it's the Life. I, I didn't even life. catch that. The Honda Life, dude. Honda yeah. Life. The, so yeah, those are compo cool. in the back? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, they're like a miniature Scion XB or XA, XA. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I mean, if you're looking for an Econo, like, right-hand drive yeah, vehicle. I bet this thing kills on gas mileage. Yeah, I mean. The, and it, it's got factory three spokes. Legit. Yeah, <laughs> that's probably for you, actually. <laughs> it, I mean, I don't know. I think the, there's different types of people like within this community that like right hand drive cars and some of them do just like a simple you know practical car yeah. they just would like to enjoy that right hand drive like side of things so i i really do think it's cool that we're seeing some of this stuff come over yeah i think it's cool too i love these little things these little things they i love, love them and they're little three <laughs> spokes oh it's so cute <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> so um my last one is again another honda jeez so, but uh you know i actually had two left and they were both hondas so God. um but i'm gonna do this one and that's because this is actually pretty unique it's a 98 honda accord sirt sirt what yes. is the deal so the SIRT means that it comes with the F20B blue top dual overhead cam motor. And that's the same uh, motor that comes in the Euro R. Interesting. Yeah, I would assume, you know, slight differences, but they say it's the same drivetrain, same motor as the Euro R. And um, I remember when I had an Accord, you know, that was one of my first one of the first cars i modified was a 97 accord and yeah. the f20b was like the motor that you wanted to to get yeah you those know are the mean? ones that looked like the h series right yes exactly right, they right, look right, just right. like that those. yeah so but yeah they had the blue valve cover yeah 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 um and so i think that this is pretty cool and unique i mean you'd have to be a guy that's you know into this right, right but right. Um, that's in Albuquerque, New Mexico. He did list it about a month ago, but he's also already dropped it by like twelve hundred dollars since he listed it. So that one offer. If you're looking for, you know, a unique accord and and you're kind of going for that generation, I mean, I would hit him up over there in Albuquerque. Albuquerque. Hey, Albuquerque. Um. So yeah, yeah, guys. I mean, this is this is the February. You know the. The February marketplace sweep. I mean, hopefully that you know there was a few cars in here that maybe piqued your interest or yeah. kind of let you know where we're at in the market. You know, even if you're not specifically looking to buy a car right now, these type of episodes we're hoping will just kind of keep you in touch with the market. Yeah, and comparing it to skyline prices. Yeah, 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 exactly, <laughs> and and really, you know, just understanding like where we're at. So. When the time does come to get your right-hand drive car, you already kind of know what to expect. So for episode 59, the February Marketplace Sweep, I'm Bobby. This is Aaron. See ya. Peace.